Welcome to another edition of Inside the Film Room presented by Sharp. Bob Popper with Super Bowl champion Sean O'Hara and the Giants added a lot of life to their offense with the signing of Kenny Galladay who went to the Pro Bowl in 2019. Sean, you got some plays to look at and Galladay is certainly going to bring the Giants offense an added dimension. Yeah, no doubt about it. He's a big time receiver. He got a big time contract, but he makes big time plays. And when you look at his production, you talk about the deep ball impact. He does a great job, not just with securing the catch, but he does a great job with after the catch. You're going to see him right here. This is in the slot. Normally he's lined up outside, but in this instance, he's manned up one-on-one -on -one right here against this slot defender. And the deep pass production that he had, obviously it coupled with Matt Stafford and his arm really well, but just a great job of creating some separation. And with the ball in the air, Bob, he always seems to find a way to do that to outjump whoever the defender is, to find a way to, to grab it at its highest point and with his hands, the ball never seems to hit his body. And then after the catch, Bob, that's where he's extremely dangerous as well. You could see the physical aspect right here. Mm. Hand to the face right there. Mush with the stiff arm. And this is the explosive playability that the Giants love about Kenny Galladay. Yeah, and a guy that can win on a 50-50 ball. Now we're going to take a look at another play, Sean, of Galladay kind of working in the red zone. Yeah, red zone production, obviously huge. Anytime you're a big target wide receiver like Kenny Galladay, here he is down at the bottom of the screen right here against who will soon be his newest teammate, James Bradbury right here. They're going to have some great battles in practice, but you see the tight boundary right here, Bob? The ball's on the hash, all right? So he's pretty tight right here. He's got to create some space. How do you do that in the red zone? You've got to be physical. You've got to be strong. Inside release on this route right here, Bob, and you're going to see – as he continues this route, he has to fight the hand battle with James Bradbury right here to create space for Stafford to throw this football. And the inside release right there as he's getting jammed, getting mugged. I mean, Bradbury took his wallet. And then this is what's so impressive. And he does this every single week. Watch him levitate right here, Bob. Watch the, the horizontal position he's in right there as he catches the football receiver that the Giants are familiar with from years past. And that right there, as he sells out, giving up his body to make a ridiculous catch, is one of the things they love. From another angle, Bob, you can really see the levitation right here. I mean, David Blaine, you know, Houdini would be impressed with that right there. There's no strings attached on Kenny Galladay's trick right there. You know, and it's interesting because, you know, a little bit of a history lesson as we get to the next play is, you know, when the Giants signed Plaxico Burris and added him to your squad that eventually won a Super Bowl, it's not like he was burning by people, but he made a lot of contested catches. Amani Toomer, another guy that was physical and made contested catches, and that's what we're seeing here that Galladay doing. Yeah, a contested catch is a big part of it, and if you're a quarterback, give me a guy with a huge catch radius. I have yet to find a quarterback that can't throw that Kenny Galladay can't make a highlight reel out of. So how about touchdowns? In 2019, he led the NFL in touchdown catches. This is one of the reasons why. You're going to see at the bottom of the screen right here, Bob. I mean, this is just a great sell on this route. He's going to fake a deep in cut right here, Bob, and then turn it into a go route. And the body language and the sell is what he does to this corner right here, Prince of Mukamara, who Giants fans probably remember as well. The body lean right there, right? Right there, that lean makes Prince think that he's going to the middle of the field, an in-cutting in route. And instead, he turns on the burners. It's not often on Sundays and on NFL games that you see a wide receiver that far away from any defender as he's cruising into the end zone. 13 of his touchdowns in his career have been in the red zone, and this is really where you've got to find a way to create some space. Now, sometimes there's a lot of traffic, and you're going to see Kenny Galladay is right here, and he's got to navigate all of this traffic right here. You can see four defenders right here in his, in his field of vision, and he's just got to find a way to create a throwing lane for the quarterback. And you can see, watch his head snap back right here, Bob. As soon as he clears this defender, the head, boom, right now, goes right back to find the quarterback. And Matthew Stafford knows I got the defender with his back to me, I know Kenny Galladay is looking back for the ball. So I just got to put it up there and let him come down with the catch. And you can see he does a great job of completing the catch. He's always finishing with the ball in his hands. All right. Well, that's Kenny Galladay making acrobatic catches for the New York Giants. And one of the key reasons why the Giants went out and signed him and brought him to Big Blue to help open up this offense for the New York Giants. That's a look at Kenny Galladay inside the film room presented by Sharp.